Hey, sweet loves, welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. Thank you for tapping in with your girl, Sweets. To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for your subscription. Thank you for joining the Sweet Love Soul Tribe. We on the road to 1K. So I appreciate you hopping in the driving seat with Sweets, helping us get there. To my returning subscribers, I definitely appreciate your love and your loyalty, baby. You already know how we do when we do what we do baby okay and if you just stopping by and you're new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button and that like button because you definitely gonna like what you're about to hear okay so we're gonna get into the raw and uncut truth and see what it is that spirit has for my sweet loves okay holy spirit i surrender my mind body and spirit to you in this moment i ask that you use me as you will Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, sweet loves, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Hope you guys are feeling good. Hope y'all saying y'all positive affirmations. And just, you know, feeling the love and feeling the light, baby. All right, Holy Spirit, what do you have for my sweet love? What is the message? Okay, so we got It Takes Two to Tangle. All right, airport. Okay, so uh, I don't know. Two people could be going to the airport. Could be going on some type of vacation. What y'all got going on, sweet love? Y'all going on vacation or what? I see you're the one for me trying to slip out. So somebody could want to take you on a vacation. Oh, goodness. We got don't settle for less than what you deserve. So, I don't know if someone's trying to come your way and offer to take you on a vacation as a way to mend things. Uh, yeah, but Spirit said don't settle for less than what you deserve. So, maybe you deserve more than this vacation that this person is trying to take you on. That's what it's given. Okay? That's what it's given. So we have, he the type that need a wife, okay? So y'all got somebody in your energy that, yeah, they need a wife, okay? They, they need that strong backbone, that nurturing spirit, okay? So we have the opinions of others shouldn't concern you. Now, you could be this male that's the type that need a wife. Um, or you could be a female that spirit is letting you know this about a person in your energy. But either way, we have the opinion of others shouldn't concern you. Okay, that's the truth. You shouldn't give a damn what nobody think about you, okay? Not at all, okay? So we have pay attention to the signs. So spirit is sending you signs to let you know that someone thinks highly of you. We have he thinks highly of you, okay? And then we have, it be your own people. So it could be someone around you, people around you. Who could be talking about you? Or got some type of opinion about you and what you do. Could be who you date, who you want a wife, or who you want to be a wife to. But somebody thinks highly of you. We have clean bill of health. Okay? Clean bill of health. So, look, and I just heard a beep outside. So, some of you guys could be going to the doctor and getting a checkup. The horn is blowing out there. <laughs> and you're going to have a clean bill of health. So, I don't know if you may have not had a, uh, a not-so-clean bill of health in the past. But either way, Spirit says, you're going to have a clean bill of health, all right? What else do you have for my sweet love spirit? Bitter. Somebody is bitter, okay? Somebody is bitter about something. A messy boot. This messy energy is bitter. Somebody who is very messy, just got a lot of shit going on, causing a lot of conflict and chaos. Whoever that person is, Hey, Halo, we got Halo in the back, guys. But somebody that's messy as hell, okay? Yeah, they bitter. They bitter about something. I don't know what they bitter about. Why they bitter? Uh, 
Why they bit a spirit? Okay, so we got future, okay? So you can find this out in the future that you got this bitter, messy person. We got friend giving you bad advice on purpose. Friend giving you bad advice purposely. So you can have a friend that's um, trying to encourage you to stay connected to this bitter, messy person. So this person could currently be bitter and messy as hell. You could know exactly who I'm talking about. And you could be separating yourself from this person. But someone connected to you, a friend of yours, is going to try to advise you to reconnect with this person. And they doing that on purpose because they basically don't want to see you happy. Okay? So you would have to analyze and assess this friend's connection, their love life. Because we know misery loves company, okay? So. So we have his ex ain't in Texas. She on his line. Mm. So if you was wondering if someone stepped away from an ex, spirit says, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, so... So what this, what this gives me with this card coming out, this bitter, messy person, they could come towards you trying to get you to stay with them, acting like they walked away from an ex and they no longer talk to them, but that's a lie. Thank you, spirit. That's a lie. Take it where it resonates. Whoever this person is, you'll know because they're someone who's opposed to your belief system, okay? So if you're someone that's very spiritual, they don't like that. Now, this person, right, this ex of theirs, it could have been a quick start, okay? It could have been something that they jumped into um, right after separating with you. We got just as fast as it started, it ended, moving too fast. So somebody was moving too fast. What else do you have, Spirit? Thank you. Yep, I knew it. I said that. That's what I was saying. Silly and right to choose. Pay attention. That's this messy person. This bitter person. When I said um, they're going to come your way trying to get you to connect with them, acting like they walked away from someone, but that's a lie. They took, they give you bad advice. They're telling you the wrong information on purpose, okay? Because they're trying to steal your right to choose. They're trying to steal your right to choose. Oh, that flipped out. What is that spirit? Whoever this person is, their child in adult form. You or this person can rock Crocs. We got Croc rocking. Okay. So we have this next soul tie is going to be so much more than an entanglement. Okay. So you could have been dealing with somebody that's messy and it was an entanglement. They had doing a mix of a lot of shit. But Spirit said this next situation that he brings towards you is going to be so much more than an entanglement. You just need to have patience. I see patience, my child. That's going to be cool. Oh, with that thing. Okay. Oh, my goodness. He came in here shooting that thing. That's my kids. Um, my daughter. She bought my son a, a jail beat gun for his birthday. Why? I don't know. After he harassed the whole house with a nerf with the nerf gun. <laughs> so now we gotta get hit with jail beads until they're gone. Okay, so thank you, Spirit. That's clarification, right? And confirmation that this next old tie is gonna be mo so much more than an entanglement. You're going to be, you're, you're about to be connected with a reliable person, a reliable person. Okay. A reliable person. So if you was dealing with all these people, it was unreliable. It just was about sex. They was full of messy shit and drama. Yeah. Don't even worry about that. Okay. Have confidence, the confidence that you need because you're about to get a reliable person. So we got nail tech. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. 
thin line between love and hate, okay? So with this, the person could literally be a nail tech or you could be a nail tech, but this is typically somebody who like, you know, if you don't do nails, it's someone who keeps nice nails. They could wear long nails. They, they Their nails are attractive, okay? They keep nice designs. You know, their nails be fire, basically. You know, you could compliment this person often on their nails. But either way it goes, Spirit is saying this nail tech is a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, okay? They love you, but at the same time, they hate you. It's a thin line between the love and the hate between the two of you. Or that they have for you. So we have lay off the fast food. So some of you guys need to stop eating so much fast food. <laughs> It's crazy because my baby told my son that he eating too much calories because he eating too much fast food. <laughs> I don't know where she gets the things from that she says, but she was right. <laughs> so we have work on your credit, okay? So some of you guys need to work on your credit, okay? Get those bills paid on time. Get those that credit increase, that credit score rising, all right? So we got creating insecurities, all right? So now, take this where it resonates. This cheating person with the nice nails could be creating insecurities within you and within the connection. Okay? Or you could be a little insecure right now because of your financial status or the status of your credit. That's all right. Just work on it, you know? Confirmation. <laughs> Confirmation. Just work on that credit. I thought this phone was muted. How did that call even get through? Yeah, so just work on your credit, okay? Work on your credit, sweet love. Oh, let's see. Let's see what else Spirit has for you. Yeah, we just work on your credit. Get those. Bills paid down. If you can settle on something, settle, but work on it. What else do you have for my sweet love, Tony Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we got alphabet boys. The feds coming. The feds coming for somebody with a white liver. Stop playing with me with that thing, boy. Stop. See, I just told you, all right? My son, I got we got to deal with getting hit with these jail beats all the, until there's no more. He just came in here hitting me. More than you better stop. Okay, so the feds coming for somebody that like to sleep around. Somebody with a white liver. The feds is coming. Whoever that person is, they could have been creating insecurities for you. Take it where it resonates. But yeah, the feds is coming. The alphabet boys is on somebody's ass. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what they out here doing, sweet love. But the feds is watching and they know what's going on. So we have, yeah, I love them strippers. Yeah, see, this this person with the white liver could have been around. Can Could have been out here. Sleeping with strippers, okay? Yeah, they wanted you home while they hoe, right? While they out here in the strip club partying, sleeping with a lot of females, okay? They're a liar. They big cat, okay? Big cat, all right? Big liar. Habitual liar. Don't sleep with this person. Do not sleep with this person, okay? Because they trying to pin an STD on you. So do not sleep with them, all right? Whoever they are, they're good for your image, but not for your soul. So the two of you could look good together, but yeah, mm -mm, on a soul level, they ain't the one. And they're jealous of you. They're de jealous of your body. They're jealous that you're snatched, okay? They're jealous that you look the fuck good, okay, baby? You look good. So we have divinely orchestrated union. Okay, so that could be that reliable person that's coming towards you, okay? 
you could be about to enter a divinely orchestrated union. So we have your mother jealous. So for some of you guys, your mom could be jealous of this union that you're heading towards. We have healing is needed. Okay. So there could need to be some healing between you and the parent, you and your mother, um, in regards to this situation. Then we have when the side chick becomes the main chick, okay? So now, I'm not sure if you're someone who was a side chick to some to someone else and you're about to become the main chick and that's a divinely orchestrated union. I, 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 I don't know, but I mean, it's, that's kind of what it looks like, but... um, Okay, all right, spirit. So another thing is that... You could have been in a connection with somebody that had someone else on the side and they turned around and made their side chick their main chick, okay? And that could have hurt you. That could have really hurt you and had you feeling some type of way and healing could be needed in reference to that situation. Take it where it resonates. But we got just be your true authentic self, okay? Be your true authentic self. Y'all hear that? If you're a loving, caring, and kind person, just be that, okay? Don't be bitter. Don't be bothered. Don't be miserable about anything. It is what it is. You shouldn't even care because you got this coming your way. All right? So show more compassion. Be your true, authentic self. Don't be so guarded, okay? Hello, beautiful. Just chicken from Papa's for you, Mama. Okay, I'm recording. I'll be with you in a second. So we have show more compassion than the soul of a past lover is returning to you. So someone from your past um, could be returning to you. It could be, you know, a, a past life connection, basically. So with the soul of a past lover is returning to you in divinely orchestrated union, yeah, that's letting me know y'all done been together before, okay? Could be in this life or could have been, but more than likely in a previous life. All right. But you're needing, when this person returns, you're needing to show more compassion to this person. Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we got physical touch, all right? So when this past life lover comes, um, returns to you, there could be a lot of physical touch going on. Y'all gonna be touchy Philly, baby, okay? We got hiding feelings. Someone was hiding their feelings though, okay? Someone is hiding their feelings, but they're about to get busted. <laughs> Could be by the alphabet boys. Okay. So, I mean, someone that's hiding their feelings could touch you as well and get busted. Yeah, someone that could act like they don't care about you, they don't really rock with you like that. It was a facade. They were hiding their feelings. But they about to reveal their own mess, possibly by trying to caress you in some way. So we have, he's showing you the truth, not to hurt you, but to help you see the truth. I was about to say to help you see the truth in the situation. But needless to say, he's showing you the truth, not to hurt you, but to help you see the truth. Okay? So with this with this out here, something's about to be exposed, okay? Somebody's going to get busted. Could be a party promoter. We got a party promoter. So somebody that's always promoting parties and what's going on in, in different events, they're about to get busted. You're going to bust this person some way, some shape, or form, okay? Something's going to be revealed about this person. And, you know, spirit is not doing it to break you down or to hurt you 
But he wants you to see the truth. He don't want you to continue to be blinded and have the rose-colored glasses on. He wants you to take the rose-colored glasses off and see the truth in the situation. That this person is really not who they appear to be, who they portray themselves to be. So some of you guys need to pay your auto insurance, okay? We got to pay your auto insurance. We have, tell me what I have to do to never lose you, okay? So this could be someone that's how, how, how this person that could have been hiding their feelings. Um, they could come to you, um, asking you, you know, basically saying like, yo, what I gotta do, what I gotta do, baby, what I gotta do, I don't wanna lose you, just tell me, what is it that I have to do to never lose you? I love you, your energy is everything, like, I have to have you in my life. How can I never lose you? So that's how somebody feels, sweet love, could be that, um, this person that you're about to have this divinely orchestrated union with. Then we have college. So some of you guys need to go to college, okay? Some of you guys may need to enroll in college if you're not already. Or, you know, you could be in college. This person could be in college. Now, college has one or two meanings. College could be actual college or college could be um, Yale, which is jail in so many words. But... Yeah, take that where it resonates. So we got blood, okay? So some of you guys could um, have your, be on your cycle right now, or your cycle could be coming. Or you might miss it. I don't know. We got to see if the, your period ain't coming, called, coming this month, this card come out. But either way it goes, Spirit says he has a lot of options, but he only has you. So that's the same person, okay? That's saying, tell me what I have to do to never lose you. This person has a lot of options, but they only have eyes for you, sweet love. They only have eyes for you. I mean, if you're in connection with this person and y'all sleeping with each other, you may want to use protection so you don't miss that period, baby. Because there could be something significant about uh, your period between the months of January to March, January, February, and March, okay? So, take that where it resonates, but yeah, be careful, be careful. What else do we have on this spirit? Thank you. All right, all right, so somebody about to come through blowing a bag on you, baby, blowing a bag on you. Blowing a bag on you. This could be this person that don't want to lose you. They could be treating you to something. So we have competition is low vibrational, okay? So make sure that you're not allowing anyone to steal your right to choose and put you in competition with anyone, okay? I don't give a crap if they are blowing a bag on you. That stuff don't matter. Don't be fooled by the materials, okay? At the end of the day, it's the love and the respect and the integrity that counts, okay? Don't be out here competing for nobody's time and attention. That's right, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Stand in your fucking power, okay? Competition is low vibrational. Stand in your power. Don't allow nobody to have you competing with no one. So we have wearing a wire. So someone is wearing a wire. Now that could be an actual wire. Especially with Alphabet Boys previously coming out here. Somebody could go on, be going to jail and the feds could be watching somebody and have someone close to that person wearing a wire. Okay? If not... That's, um, you know, you take away it where it resonates. But if not, wearing a wire could also be someone in your energy that's basically soaking up the inf information from you and reporting back live and direct to someone else. But Spirit said it's time to be done with deception, okay? It's time to be done with deception. It's over. Enough of that, okay? Be done with deception. Toxic co-workers. So with toxic co-workers and wearing a wire... Take away a resonate. This could be going on at your job. You could have somebody at your job that's, you know, reporting back live to your boss or, you know, someone of superiority. 
about you. Okay? So be careful. Don't be talking about your boss or saying certain stuff about the jobs to certain people because your coworkers is messy and toxic. Okay? And it's time to be done with that. So that could be actual coworkers or that could be friends. All right? But it's time to be done with that deception, the sneaks and the creeps. All right? So we have remember how you got in the door. Remember how you got in the door. Same way you get them is the same way you lose them. All right? Whether that be a connection or an actual job situation. All right? You sneaking and creeping and cheating to get to somebody or... or, or to obtain something no you're gonna lose that same thing sneaking creeping and cheating so be mine we have meditation brings answers okay so if you're looking for some confirmation and clarity outside of what you already received within this read you know if you're a little bit confused for whatever reason um meditation brings answers okay we have You're My Little Secret. So somebody feels like you're their little secret. Somebody feels like you're their little secret, we love. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. They, I mean, the secret could be, you know, the fact that they low-key really have love for you. Excuse me. Are y'all serious right now? See, now my son is harassing the whole house with the Nerf Blaster. Or B Blaster, Gel Blaster, whatever it's called. All right, what else do you have, Spirit? Any other final messages? Any other final messages? Well, actually, what we'll do, let's get some tea on the... The wearing the wire is time to be done with deception, toxic co-workers. Can we have the tea on this toxic co-worker situation? What's the tea, Holy Spirit? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. That slipped, slipped over. Okay. So we have moves in silence. So that's definitely confirmation, right? You need to keep your moves in silence. Why? Because somebody wearing a wire. Somebody's being deceitful, okay? So keep your moves silent. Now, someone connected to you or, you know, this energy that could be wearing a wire, right? So let's just say, you are not in connection with someone, right? But you guys have like a mutual friend or family member, whatever it may be. Someone is fishing through your comments, okay? They're fishing through your comments, going back, reporting live to the other toxic coworker or family or friend or whatever it is, okay? Now, whatever they're telling them, whatever they're running back telling them is concerning the other party. Okay, so you might want to just keep things on a low low, all right? Well, I mean, you really can't control what people write in your comments unless you go back and delete them, but yeah. Spirit said, whatever you're doing, just keep your moves silent because this person is definitely fishing for some information and whatever their information they're currently receiving is concerning them. And, and, and they're concerned about the connection itself which is why they sent somebody to wear wire you know they have somebody basically reporting live to them thank you okay well you aren't bothered by this you said you don't give a damn <laughs> my sweet love said yeah i'm not deleting no comments i don't give a damn i'm unbothered that's their business you want to be concerned you could be concerned okay you want to be concerned be concerned it is what it is i'm unbothered by that all right now sweet love i hear that one to two more cards sweet love uh, well, I guess so. Okay, yeah, so. Yep, they thinking. They they in deep thought thinking about you and what you may have going on. What you may have going on. They could be concerned as to, you know, like, damn, they really, they see that you unbothered and it's 
it, it has them trapped in their thoughts. Yeah. So I don't know. Whatever it is that you doing, whatever you posting, it definitely has them trapped in their thoughts. And they could see that you basically don't care. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, sweet loves. I hope you guys enjoyed this read. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to click the post notification bell so that you are know what to find each and every time I upload a new video and each and every time I go live. Love and light to you all.